Okay, my name is Konstantin Korotkov, and I'm uh, for 40 years I'm in science and in the university. Now I work as a professor in the uh, Saint Petersburg University, and this is one of the leading university in Russia on information technologies. So my uh, background was quantum physics, and in Soviet time I spent a lot of time in research on plasma physics. Um, atmosphere physics, laser physics, uh, then surface physics, surface science, and it was tremendous experience, tremendous experience, and of course uh, I gained a lot of uh, from this. Then in 90s I finally moved to develop a system based on Kirlian effect, mm. and in 1995 we were able to develop our first instrument. Now, of course, it's again the whole line of uh, big research because it's all based not just on the technology. Technology is very complicated, but it's not just technology. The most important it is uh, software processing, algorithms. They're all based on, on non-linear mathematics. And now we put all our algorithms in uh, internet, on the web. This allows us in modern uh, life to be safe first of all to keep all databases and now we have hundreds of thousands of uh, people in database on uh, in the cloud and it is safe absolutely safe and to easily exchange data update our programs communicate with uh, people so it's really a modern uh, very convenient system are you are, when you're talking about this instrument are you talking about the GDV in the bio yes yes it's our latest instrument it is uh, the name is biovel it is based on the line of gdv instrument that we had before but now it's not only biovel uh, we study human beings and we study human energy and biological energy biological field and now it is uh, well accepted even by fda <laughs> it's a separate notion yes 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 because they accept that uh, biological field it's the way how we can help wellness and how does this machine work uh, you see we uh, use very uh, low current and we when people need have to touch electrode of the camera and we apply very short electrical impulse milliseconds and this stimulate emission of photons and electrons from the surface from our finger this stimulates the channel meridium and we are based on the principle of Chinese meridiums and we are based on uh, analysis map that creates all fingers of our hands with different organs and systems this idea first was proposed in Germany by Dr. Peter Mandel and then we've been using a lot of clinical trials we have more than 200 papers published on clinical trials in medicine we have more than 20 doctor theses defended in this field. And that's why all that we are using, it is verified by clinical trials. So it is ideas of traditional Chinese medicine supported and verified by clinical trials. We are based on our body, on our consciousness and on our spirits. This is three indivisible part of human nature so of course we can take about uh, talk about elements we can talk about water about different components of our body and this is really important part and we spend a lot of attention in, uh, to this but i always pay attention that we are not only physical body we are much more than that we are consciousness and our consciousness is uh, highly developed compared with all the world. Of course, we accept that every dog, every cat, every tree has consciousness. Every cell has consciousness, but it's all different levels of consciousness. And in my book, I am discussing this topic of different levels of consciousness. And our human consciousness is different from all other because we have individual consciousness and we have collective consciousness. And um, I believe in the idea of the field of collective consciousness. A field that combines together all human beings in the S and then creates to universe. 
you see, we <coughs> now have new science of consciousness. And this science, it started developing in 21st century because now we have new instruments as fMRI, as a different uh, new way of uh, Im processing of uh, electroencephalography signal, of images, and our system we are using as well. So it's a lot of discussion and a lot of controversy in this study because most the people are concentrated on the mind. And, of course, without mind, there are no individual consciousness. But, to my mind, it's only part of the game. We need to look at much broader, in a much broader perspective. And I believe that we need to look to mind, we need to look to the whole system, and we need to look to the whole humanity. And what is common in our brain? in uh, dogs, cats, uh, plants. The common is water. We are all based on water. Every cell of our body, it is liquid. All circulation in our body, it is liquid. And our brain is the most wet organ of practically all the body. So, uh, it means that water has really significant role in behavior in everything, for all living beings. At the same time, we understand that if we tell about field of consciousness, same we can tell about field of water. Because now it's proven that water is the second element in universe. All over the universe we can find water. What's the first? The first is hydrogen. Yeah. So, uh, and of course, this water is maybe in frozen form. Uh, at many planets, there are liquid water. And now we know, it's proven, that water has memory. Water can ex uh, accept information, process this information, and keep this information. And we have now a lot of experimental data done by great scientists uh, that prove it. So, we keep memory in our consciousness. What I keep memory? Our consciousness, consciousness field is omnipresent. What is omnipresent? Uh, the most um, so strong concepts of consciousness, now it's based on quantum electrodynamics. And those are concepts that combine together um, uh, classical features of brain behavior, and non-classical behavior of our consciousness. But the most developed concept of water, it is quantum electrodynamics concept. We see that nature is organized on many levels. And we, of course, need to take into account all those levels. So, of course, we, uh, we have some ideas how brain operates on electrical level. But uh, functional magnetic resonance imaging it is imaging of water state in the brain. Water has significant role. And we propose idea that uh, water may be material carrier of consciousness in the field and in the universe. Now we have more and more understanding in the society the importance of water, finally. Now you can find many books, you can find movies on YouTube, and people start understanding that to be healthy, they need to drink water. They need to drink good water. But what does mean good water? It's a big question. So the conference like this one, try to understand water. Because after many years of research, it was found that water is totally enigmatic substance. It has so many enigmatic properties. And we reveal more and more. But only due to science of this kind, we come to understanding what does it mean really good water for health? Even more than that, now we are preparing a new book with Vladimir Vaikov under the title uh, The Energy of Water, Scientific Basis of Homeopathy. Because now again we have very strong scientific evidences that shows us how homeopathy substances are organized. And all these controversies of, oh, there are no molecules. No. It's totally wrong. There are water. Water, organized 
in accordance with molecules. And now we can really prove it with a lot of data. So my idea to that conference of this kind, they show people. And it's more and more attention, you see. At the first conference in Vermont, it was maybe 50 people. I've been there, it was very difficult to come there, but still. And then it was more and more. Now we have 150 people. We have hundreds of people who watch this uh, on, uh, in real life. We have many young people. It is, that's the most important. Young people, they are coming. They present their own research. They present their own data. That is very important. And uh, this is really a new uh, stage of uh, scientific development. And it's led by uh, top-level scientists, by Luc Montagnier, by uh, Gerald Pollock, Vladimir Vajekov, who are really, it was Emilio Del Giudici who passed away. There are a lot of interesting uh, teams from Italy, amazing teams, they're doing amazing study, from Japan as well, from Russia. So it's really a big development worldwide, all over the Europe, United States, Japan, Russia, so worldwide movement.